If you had the opportunity to build your ideal piano lab and budget was not an issue, what would you have in there? You would have digital pianos, of course, but would you ask for anything else? What about a computer with internet connection or a projector and keyboard software to show the notes on the staff and on a keyboard? Would you include cameras to project the instructor's hands? What about a smart board? And while you're at it, what about a touchscreen panel to control everything? Does this sound unimaginable or even impossible? While it may be for some, it wasn't for Dr. Oscar Macchioni at the University of Texas, El Paso. Dr. Macchioni, a native of Argentina, is known around the world as an accomplished solo and collaborative pianist, as well as a professor, lecturer, author, and adjudicator. He joined the music faculty at the University of Texas, El Paso in 2003, where he teaches class piano, piano pedagogy, and applied piano. When he arrived at the university, he found that the piano lab was from the early 1980s and didn't work well anymore. It was then that he began designing the piano lab of his dreams. Shortly after that, and thanks to a generous grant from the Brown Foundation in Houston, that dream became a reality. The piano lab is made up of 20 digital pianos for the students, the instructor's digital piano, and an acoustic upright piano. The lab also uses multimedia technology as teaching aids. There are three video cameras, one camera pointing down from above the instructor's hands, another one on the side of the keyboard, and one focused on the foot pedals. There is a smart board and a computer and monitor at the instructor's keyboard. Everything is controlled by a touchscreen control panel next to the instructor's keyboard, which can select different cameras, the computer screen, a document projector, or any combination of these. Each student's keyboard has a computer monitor on top, so they can easily see what is projected on the smartboard. One of the advantages of using a smartboard is that the instructor can use a special pen to write on the board and have it show up on the projected image. Dr. Macchioni can also record anything he plays, save it as a standard MIDI file, and then load it into his keyboard and project the score of that music so that the students can sight read it. The Piano Lab is also connected to the Internet, which allows them to get information from anywhere instantly. For example, in a recent class they were looking at whole tone scales. With this technology, Dr. Macchioni was able to show them impressionistic paintings and have them watch a pianist playing Debussy preludes. When it comes to his teaching philosophy, Dr. Macchioni understands that for someone to truly comprehend something, they need to be able to explain it, and that includes music. As a result, he uses methods he was taught in his younger days as a piano student in Argentina. These include having the students verbally explain what is going on in the music in terms of melody, intervals, chords, and structure, having them analyze the harmony using Roman numerals, and having them sing the music using solfege. In this video, Dr. Macchioni is teaching a fourth semester piano class for non-piano music majors. As you watch, you will see various methods he uses for teaching. Because he is working on different concepts, such as technique, harmonization, sight reading, etc., with different pieces, not every concept is used in every piece. While this video was shot during one class session, you will see excerpts from different pieces in order to get the full range of his classroom methodology. While the students would normally wear their headsets throughout the entire class period, they are removed periodically specifically for this video. Typically, the first thing he does with his students when looking at a piece for the first time is analyze it harmonically. He starts off by identifying the key and then asks the students to verbally analyze the piece while he writes the Roman numerals on the smart board. Notice that while he is working on the analysis with them, he is also pointing out five-finger and block chord patterns, as well as other details that will help them to play more accurately and musically. Five, six, five, again you play the duck since piano one, then one, then one, a six is this in good position. So if what are we going to play here that we don't have anything? One. What are we going to play here? One. Remember, when there is nothing, we just repeat the previous chord. So D minor in F major is six chord. Two. Sounds familiar? Five, six, five. One. Of course, one, five, six, five. 
requirement. So this is really, really easy because it's all the chord progressions you know. Again, remember, predominant chords, two is followed by a five, five results into one. That's happened a lot in music. So, um, we are going to just spot the chords and then I will pair you so you work with your partner playing the right hand first and then the left hand and so on. So, in many cases, once the analysis has been figured out and other important details in the music have been identified, Dr. Macchioni will use the Classroom Maestro software to show the notes on the grand staff as well as on the keyboard. You will see that whatever notes he plays on his keyboard appear on the projected grand staff and light up on the projected keyboard. The first chord is a G chord. So instead of playing this, so can you play that for it with me? A G chord root position. The next measure we have two chords. We have this, which is part of your five or two, and then the third of a one chord, and then this chord. Right? And then this one. Back to G. Then D. Then A and C. Remember that there are cameras placed around the instructor's keyboard. These cameras, along with the projection technology, allow Dr. Macchioni to show the students the placement of his hands while playing, either looking down from above or from the side. Release because they're pressed, and then you drop the hand, release. To move my hand from this position to this position, of course, is very good releasing the hand and dropping. So one more time is drop in release, drop in release, release four, drop release, drop release, drop, release and drop. Okay, so now you are ready. Once again drawing on his experiences as a piano student. He firmly believes that having the students sing a piece of music using solfege gives them a deeper understanding of the piece and therefore makes them better equipped to perform it. Finally, once he has approached a piece of music in any number of these ways, he will have them play it. But even then, there will be more to it than just playing straight through it. He may separate the parts, having them play the left hand by itself and then the right hand. He may have them block the chords out before playing them as written, such as when using an Alberti bass, and sometimes he will have half of the class play one part while the other half plays the other part. Notice that while he uses the technology to its fullest capabilities, he will still walk around the classroom to make sure that the students are playing correctly. Switch parts. One, two, ready, go. So means the left hand is playing the accompaniment. So I don't want to hear a tractor boom, 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 boom playing the accompaniment. I want a very soft, very simple accompaniment, the right hand a little bit louder, or the left hand, of course, softer than the right hand. This is a lullaby, so you're going to put the baby to sleep. So no tractor playing here, okay? Here we go, one and two and one and 
Even though Dr. Macchioni has state-of-the-art technology in his classroom, he knows that it is still just a tool to teach music. He believes that the goal of the teacher is to use whatever is available to bring out the best of the students. While the technology helps, it is his passion and commitment to music and music education that makes him a successful teacher. However, along with his dedication and this amazing technology, it never hurts to have the class know they're being recorded on video. You surprise me. I think I will have to have guests here all the time. <laughs> I think you never played quite accurate. Accurate. You were never quite accurate when I'm alone here in the class, like you were today. 